Hey, Yarnabees. Day one of the move. I've got, <laughs> my car is loaded. George's van is loaded. Um, it was a bit of a cluster. Um, I went to the shop yesterday and it was a disaster in there. I, I was panicking. Uh, but they told me, no, it's going to be ready today for me. And I was like, yeah, right. I'll believe it when I see it. So <clears throat> it's apparently ready. So we're taking the first load. <sighs> Yay. So let's go. Okay, yarn bees, we're here. Here we go, this is before. <sighs> so here's the shop. This is all gonna be painted in the summertime when it's better. So you ready to go in? Okay, hang on. <laughs> hang on, he said it's locked. There you go. Here we go. Okay, it looks good, actually. Wow, there's a lot of room. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if I can pull you guys out more. There we go. Oh, the ceiling looks good. Wow. So, all that green carpeting is gonna be yeah. coming off of there. That's the back where the bathrooms are. Um, it looks way bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> so stuff back here. That's Liz's stuff. Oh, okay. So that's so that door is the bathroom there. Mm-hmm. So that's the front. And uh, that I think is where I'm gonna have my um, desk. So yeah. It's like, oh my goodness. And then this back room here, this is where the storage is. Oh, he put the back in. Okay. This is my little storage area for um, putting stuff I don't need right away at the shop. So there it is, you guys. Yarnabies. Well, we've got some stuff in. George has gone back to Nanaimo to get some more. Um, this is really weird. It's really weird. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh, cry. I don't know. It's been a long time that I've been waiting to get this done. And, uh, yeah, it's, wow, reality check, big reality check. <clears throat> There's a lot of room in here, and I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to fill the store up and make it look good and inviting. Um, I can already hear Hal and Bronwyn in their shop. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of banging and crashing for a while, I think. Um, so, yeah. So I'm just waiting for George to get back. 
And I got to paint some shelves, uh, the edging of the shelves. And yeah, I forgot my tripod. <laughs> so we'll figure this out. Okay. Hey, Arnabies. Well, it's the end of day one. Um, my sister and my niece and my great nephew. <laughs> Uh, came to help me. Um, I'm exhausted. I am absolutely burned out. I am in so much pain. You know, um, I got a call from a video chat from Billy, the Crafty Floridian, uh, when my video came out. And she said, I hate to tell you this, but I can diagnose you right now. I believe you have fibromyalgia. I think she's right. Um, I, I spoke to my doctor about it and said, you know, is there any kind of testing or anything that can be done for that? And he said, no. Um, so he put a couple more uh, tests in with my blood test to find out, I guess, about rheumatoid arthritis or something. I don't know. But I can't believe how much pain I'm in. <clears throat> and George is the one that did all the heavy lifting. He's been going back and forth from Nanaimo. Oh, and there he is. Hold that thought. Sorry about that. George was calling me. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I, I don't know. But I, I, what I know is that... When I exert myself, it takes so much out of me, it's insane. Um, so, yeah. Something else that's been going on with me, and I don't, I don't know if it's a fibromyalgia thing or not. Maybe you guys can tell me. My jaw hurts so much. The muscles in my jaw hurt. I feel like my jaw is moved. Um, and I keep biting the inside of my lip and my cheek because my teeth aren't aligned properly. And I know that with TMJ that happens, but from what I read, um, TMJ is also a symptom of fibromyalgia. So I don't know, but I know I'm, I'm tensing. Oh, I know I'm tensing my jaw a lot without even realizing it. But, um, yeah. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about my aches and pains. <laughs> um, the, we did two or three loads. I can't remember. Two, two, I think. Um, and we're getting the shelves up. On the, on the wall. Uh, Michelle is putting up the mugs and stuff. Uh, my sister Charlene, she put up all the car coasters and the keychains and the purses. Not all the purses. I've still got purses at home. <coughs> um, <coughs> next will be the yarn. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be it's going to be interesting. I've got, I, I don't know if I ever talked to you guys about this, but ow, oh, I, um, I did, I used to do, I used to do, to do, um, acrylic pours and I've got them all downstairs in the basement. So I was thinking that I might end up trying to sell them at the shop. Um, don't know how that will go, but it's worth a try. Um, I have a bunch of crafty stuff that I used to do. I used to make uh, like little boxes. Um, uh, they had a, had a lid on them, and I would take fabric and I would glue fabric all around it and put um, make fabric flowers and stuff. I'll show them to you uh, when um, when I get up to the shop. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry. I'm so exhausted. <clears throat> so George seems to think that we're going to be able to get everything in the shop tomorrow. He's working like a horse. Like, oh my God. He's, he's packing all this stuff. He goes home. He packs up the van with all the stuff. He brings it over. He packs it all into the store. You know, <clears throat> like I could not do this without my family honest to God, like, George is a rock star, he's, um, yeah, that man, he is a workhorse, and, uh, <clears throat> my sister absolutely loves setting up the shop, moving the shop around, you know, helping with, uh, when stock comes in, pricing it, organizing it, like, she, that's her thing, like, she just loves doing that. And so does my niece. My niece loves doing that kind of stuff too. So it's very um, organized, oriented kind of kind of stuff, which I am not. Just saying. So <clears throat> um, between the four of us, uh, I might actually have a pretty neat shop. <laughs> so uh, yeah. But anyways, it's um, it's coming along slow but sure. I screwed up. I. <sighs> Darn it. Sorry. Um, I went and I bought. I had those brackets for the shelves shipped up from Victoria. And I don't know if I miscounted or what, but I don't have enough. I've got. I've got more than enough for the big 12 inch shelves but the 10 inch shelves I think the problem is is that I ended up having more shelves when I cut got those two pieces of wood cut I got more shelves than I was bargaining for like that I was expecting so I didn't I didn't uh, get enough stuff so I think what I'm gonna do is maybe on Monday um, I'm gonna take a trip down to Victoria and go to my superstore and go get some ribeye and then go to Matthews and get some more of those brackets <clears throat> so yeah and whatever else I need so yeah, so now I'm just on my way home. George and I are going to go and sit at the Chinese buffet and eat. And then I'm going to go home, have a hot bath, have a glass of wine, which I don't normally do. But I'm going to sit and relax and get ready for tomorrow. Because these next few days are going to be chaos. <clears throat> I'm going to grab my tripod and bring it to the shop tomorrow. And then I will... Um, I'll kind of do like a time lapse thing or whatever of us doing the setup and all that and uh, show you guys some of the stuff that I made. All right. Okay. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go and relax. Okay. Morning, Erin Bees. Day two. <laughs> wow <laughs> I have a lot to do <laughs> oh god <laughs> I'm so not even sure of what the hell I'm going to be doing here <laughs> so yeah let's have some fun <laughs> good morning yarn of bees so we're almost ready to open the doors. We, um, we are, I just have a few more things to do. And then, um, sorry, I'm just watching Bailey. <laughs> um, and then I have to take the paper off the windows and clean the windows. I'm probably not gonna get the lights up for a little while. Uh, but today's the first day that I've brought Bailey. So it's going to be interesting to see how she reacts to the new shop. So let's go and uh, 
I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's still a little bit messy, but that's going to be dealt with today. So let's go. <laughs> this. Look, you can roam free now. There you go. Hey. <laughs> oh, you want your treat? Hang on. You want your treat before we even before we even get going here. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Okay, there you go. All right, there you go. Okay, now you can roam. All right, so here we go. Sorry, this is like all the mess that I have to clean up today. So we'll start over here. Uh, this is my window setting. I've got some art over here. I have my mannequin over there. And I got this, oh, jeez. Oh, hey. <laughs> Okay, so. This is George violating the <laughs> do not assemble contract. <laughs> it's which was the tantamount contact of our marriage. That <laughs> this is clear violation. <laughs> so he's putting together my sandwich board. He said, You want a sandwich? I thought I was going to be eating something and <laughs> ended up with this. <laughs> so here it is. Okay. So this is going to be my desk. It's really messy right now. I've got some of my art up here and a couple of furry friends. I've got some mugs. This is going to be where I have coffee or whatever. Um, then we've got my tea balls. And they, these are something I made a long time ago. And then my sister and mine's book. And some more of my little boxes. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> um, so here we've got, here we've got our, our mannequin, our one mannequin. We've got our guard dog right here. We've got a thing of yarn. Got my yarn boxes here. I have to put something over on that wall because um, you can really see that wall from this window. I've got my sign over there. I've got my needles and some scissors and pom poms. And then I've got circular needles here. I have the sock forms here. And then I've got all of my yarn all along this wall and then is there more yarn in the back or is that all the yarn you have i have a little bit but so i've got my wool here and then i've got some stuff hanging here that's probably going to get moved at some point i just don't have room for it this is my bargain bin area everything's going to be inexpensive in here and then this is that four that rounded or shelf thing that I've got and over here I've got some packs that's gonna I'm gonna get more stuff there you come over here and I've got my jewelry 
then we've got cowls and hats. We've got purses over here. I have these are the dishcloths that my sister and I made. Don't forget to show them our hopes and dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got all the leather purses here. I've got my headbands here, some axolotl hats, some gloves, um, texting gloves. I've got my caps, my brim, or brim hats. I've got some, um, oh, they're like wick away cooling hats. I got some wallets. Um, this is going to be where that guy Jeff puts all of his woodworking stuff. Uh, and these are my these are my wine cozies. I actually have to get another wine glass and put one on there, but basically, it fits on here and covers your glass. <clears throat> and then I've got all of my mugs. Just so you can kind of get an idea of what I made. There. This is like so mean right now. <laughs> oh, don't even look at that one. tumblers and these are on um, little things that make the tumbler spin so we've got just kind of like a mixture of different styles. This one's got to be one of my favorite. Don't be an ass squatch. <laughs> and then down here I have all this, all the astrological signs. And then over here I have some um, keychains. Car cozies or car coaster cozy, yeah, those things. <laughs> and then I have some fuzzy socks. I'm going to be actually sublimating some socks. So, want to go outside and look at the inside, or look at look at what it looks like? On, oh, you guys, I can't even talk. I'm so tired. We'll look at it from the outside. <clears throat> Don't walk into the door. <laughs> okay. So here's the front. Remember, all this is getting painted in the summertime. But you see, there's a big gap right here. So I have to uh, figure out what I'm going to put in there, whether it's crocheted sweaters or something. Um, so, oh, bet you guys didn't know I did art. <laughs> yeah, so sorry, it's quite a glare on there. And then that's my niece made that. And then I'm gonna hang something else on this side. Sorry about the glare, you guys. No, that didn't work either. This whole wall, I'm gonna hang something on there too. But it's kind of cool because I got a mural on this side, right? And then people always come and take pictures of the murals. So when they come, they're going to go, oh, hey, look at this shop. Right? So, so there you have it. Oh, you guys, isn't it pretty? Oh, it's double-sided. Oh, I love it. It looks so good. Oh. Okay, here me trying not to cry oh man <sighs> so yep the shop is pretty much ready to go 
I mean, if it comes down to it, I can use, oh my God, I can use my handheld machine. Oh my God, I look horrible right now. Um, my handheld machine to make sales. So, um, yeah, but I think it's ready, you guys. I'm so stoked. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Uh, I will talk to you guys in a bit.